Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to design ceiling fan shank. But first let me introduce you about the ceiling fan. As you can see, it's a ceiling fan. In ceiling fan, the ceiling fan blade is connected to the ceiling fan motor with the help of the ceiling fan shank. Also, shank used to provide the lift and the twist to the ceiling fan blade. So today we are going to learn how to design a shank with lift and twist. So let's go. So now let's start drawing for a ceiling fan shank. A ceiling fan shank can be designed in a sheet metal module or in a solid module. But today we are designing it in a solid module. For that let's start with new. Go to the part in solid module. Uncheck the use default template. Rename it as a shank or any other part name which you need I am renaming it as shank1 click on ok press to MMNS part solid let the system load now you can see the commands extrude, revolve, sweep, sweat, blend these all are the solid module command first of all we are going to sketch the shank shape which we are required or which we have already discussed with our team or something ok draw center line uh, we need to draw it straight a vertical line delete the older one now click on line and draw a line which is equal distance we are taking it as 70 dimensions all are depend on your requirement or your size I am just taking it as reference this must be 20 and uh, now just see one thing like L you can see the L L is the length constraint it just make both the both the lines have the same these both lines have the same dimension and V shows the vertical constraint Similarly, H shows the horizontal constraint and L on the both same two lines shows that the both the lines have the same dimension. Similarly, again, if I am at here, then L on these two lines show that these two are of same length, but this line is vertical. If I am stopping here, you can see L on these two lines are same, but I want these two lines of the same dimension. Click OK now we are just constraining these two points at equal distance as l1 and l2 l2 are same then it, these are on, on, uh, def, automatically equal distance because this line is equal distance then click on undo this constraint is for equal distance constraint okay now we are taking line to this direction and then this direction again make it equal equal length so that the component will be equal to dimensions like this now just keep, keep uh, do the complete dimensioning of the product we are taking it as 100 taking it as 10 and this line must be 10 this is 20 and this is 70 and this width is already we are taking as 70 or we can take it as 65 okay this must be 100 this is 70 this is 20 all dimension equal so we just keep our component on zero position click ok now let's move second step firstly we need to extrude this part then we create planes for this part this must be of uh, six degree lift and five degree twist now first create the top area use the same plane click on C we are using the same dimensions or same lines so just 
reference them you can create these same lines using line command and rectangle command or we can project these this 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 and this we will project this line unless you will get the trouble just join these two lines this command is for joining two lines as it is a sheet metal component the thickness will be of we are using a sheet metal of 2 mm some people can use 1.5 or 1.8 also okay now next activity um, we need a plane in between this area so take a plane as this length is 20 mm so we are taking 10 for making a plane in center now take a plane which is 10 mm below to this plane okay then okay now the actual work begins we need firstly we are going to create a axis between this plane and this plane take axis option datum axis option using this plane and click on this plane you will get an axis now we are going to create a datum plane using this axis and this plane with 6 degree lift 6 degree leads to 360 minus 6 is 54 degree and it is a 6, 3 de 6 degree li lift now we need to rotate this plane in in this direction in this direction to give a twist okay so for that click on select this datum 3 click on copy then go to paste special you can see apply move rotate transform to the copies click on apply move and rotate click ok you can see this command for translate this can translate your pin up and down or you can see this command this is for rotation so now we need to find out the rotating axis about which we need to rotate so we are taking z as rotational axis now you can see the plane is rotating as much you want we want only 5 degree rotation click tick click ok now i request you to hide all other datums so that you will not get confused now just use this datum to extrude the other part of the shank click on extrude set the model i just suggest create the extrude little bit bigger than this dimension so that when you going to extrude or cut out this material this shape the shape remains exactly fine as you required okay so take the references we are taking this as reference we are taking this as reference create a center line okay now take line command this must be approximately bigger this okay important is that this distance because this distance is fixed otherwise you will get a trouble we are 9.5 we are taking we are taking this dimension as 9.5 this is little bit bigger so thus 110 85 click tick similarly make it 2 mm because the top dimension is also of 2 mm click ok now we need to join these two components for joining we are using boundary blend command click on this surface and press ctrl and click on this surface click done for second line second surface click on this edge press ctrl and click on this edge click ok now join this click on this line click on this line press ctrl selecting two commands you need up to press ctrl click on this line and press ctrl on this click ok now as it is a surface we need to merge them all to so that we can solidify it you can see merge command is not active so for activating merge command click on this boundary blend surface and the adjacent surface the merge command is activated 
now click next adjacent surface and then next adjacent surface all the four surfaces will be merged you can see solidify it is not activated click on merge and you can solidify this surface the surface is solidified i suggest to hide all the boundaries you can see easily see a solidified surface now it's time we used we need to draw this sketch and extrude it so that we can get the exact shape click on extrude take the straight plane choose the straight plane to work straighten the component now use project command click on loop and you can select the complete loop and it is very easy now just create external rectangle so that shaded portion will be removed and the gray portion will be remained click ok make it center so that all external will be removed click on remove material and then you can see the shape of the shank is achieved now which we just need to check the angles you can see easily this is a lift angle so this is 6 degree lift angle and you can see this is a twist angle this is a 5 degree twist angle we are going to check it ok just go on section sections new make the section in the center similarly create one more section on this plane and move it a little bit inside as much you want it is not necessary to take a 35 or anything click done now let us do on the check the lift angle first go to sketch take the center plane to sketch click on sketch C rotate your product so that you can easily check you can get the shape now take the references we are, we are having this reference available and we need this reference for that just go to X section and click on this surface you can get the line easily now draw a sketch on this surface and on this surface check angle using dimension command this line and this line and you can see it's a 6 degree angle dim ref click ok now it's time to check the lift angle the twist angle 6 degree is the lift angle similarly go to sketch select the straight plane go to sketch straight the product you can see we are getting a straight line and secondly we need this line so go to X section and click on this surface okay you are getting this line we need to check angle between th this line and this line this is 5 degree you can see this is a 5 degree line angle so our twist angle is 5 degree and left angle is 6 degree so our target is achieved now which we just need to shape the component provided some safety radiuses as these corners need some radius we are providing a 3 mm radiuses to both the corners 3.5 similarly at this edge we are going to provide the radius of 5 mm 5 and 5 on this now we are going to provide radius in this if we are providing it as 5 mm keep it in mind if this is 5 this is inner radius in sheet metal the outer radius must be 5 plus thickness or the inner plus thickness thickness is 2 mm and it must be 7 similarly this is the inner radius for other side we are taking it 5 then this must be of 7 click ok now we are providing radiuses or rounds to these corner because these corners will be sharp and it will harm our user or production line employee worker who is working there 
so we need to remove these sharp corners we are making it forward and removing the sharp corners too this is also 4 and we now provide radiuses to these two corners also we are taking it with a little bit bigger like approximately 12 mm at this edge also click ok now we are have we have to give holes in this hole in this area is used to mounting the shank or mounting the blade on the fan body click just using the center line the hole diameter of this location is approximately 6.5 in every case because in fans normally we use screw of 1.4 1 by 4 inch 1 by 4 inch leads to 6.2 m so 6.3 m so we are using a hole of 6.5 we are just using equality constraint for dimensioning both the holes at the same dimension click on equal click on this circle and then this circle both the circles have same R1 constraint means the dimension of both the circles are same so distance between these holes and we are constrained to equality this circle this circle plus click on center line now both the circles are equally distant from each other <coughs> and the Damage location of this circle from the top is of 9.5 mm. Okay, usually this surface in all the shanks will be round, is round because the top cover we are using is round in shape. So this, this edge to be removed and make round, but we are making straight. You can shape it as you want. Similarly, now we are need holes in this area also. Click on extrude, use the flat surface. To see, you are having center line. Draw a center line. And normally, both some shanks have two holes in this location and one hole in this location. Some shanks have one hole in this location, two holes in this location. And some shanks have four holes in total. Here we are using two holes at that corner and one hole in this corner. All these circles have R1 constraint, making them equidistant from center line, taking a center dimension for both. It must be 42, distancing this hole from that. It must be 78 and distancing these holes from the top surface approximately 42. This 42 constraint is must you must have to check it in your drawing because this oh, this distance link the blade from the fan body. Okay, and this hole is of 5.5 mm. Usually the rivet we use to uh, rivet we use to uh, fit the this hole must be 5.5 mm because rivet used is of approximately 5 mm and click ok and make it center remove the material you can see three holes in this area so finally our shank is complete just hide this sketch and I suggest to close the planes you can see a shank you can edit shape this area according to your requirement you can edit this area according to your requirement or you can edit this area the important part in the shank making is the rotation of the planes as per our requirement that is lift of 6 degree and twist of 5 degree or a lift of 10 degree or twist of 2 degree or 8 degree as per your requirement we can save the component our work is done if this video is helpful for you, please press the like button. Also, do subscribe our channel for more interesting videos like this. Do not forget to share it with your friends and colleagues. Thank you.